So I'm Father Patrick from um, Los Angeles, California. Um, Father Michelle has proposed some resolutions for action. Um, it's not very clear to me in what way to promote this further. It would be a very fine thing, especially in the light of the upcoming uh, Pan-Orthodox Synod that's due to meet next year, uh, where all of our churches will be involved. Uh, what a nice way to kind of prepare for that, to get our um, communications in order for educational purposes. Uh, we have schools from all over the world that could participate. This is a very, very big proposal that Father Michel has set forth. These resolutions are large and they demand, uh, you know, like many people to participate in. So I, for one, would like to second the motion that Father has put out there and ask the, uh, especially the hierarchs present of those running the, uh, the conference here, uh, to consider carefully, I ask you really carefully, to consider how this action can be promoted into uh, you know, real steps going forward. Like many conferences we attend, we hear things, we say, oh, that's nice. I mean, I mean, I mean, and then we leave and nothing happens. So I would like for one to see something further go here. I don't know the next step in this, but let's see some action, maybe a communication link between the related churches and their schools of theology could be established as a first step, something like this. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Do you expect that Father Michael would answer, or it's just a question to those who organize the conference? Okay, then we'll leave it like that. Any other questions, please? Yes, please. I have uh, participated in uh, similar projects uh, uh, thanks to the Open University where I did uh, a postgraduate degree and also in the more recent uh, projects, um, especially good for those who are m married, who do not have time, very, very good. Uh, my question, however, is the following. We uh, all agreed that uh, Skype cannot uh, replace uh, the face-to-face -face communication. Um, uh, maybe the replacement uh, of uh, the image, not uh, of uh, the teacher of the professor, not having uh, the teacher there in uh, uh, physical presence, maybe that uh, could uh, um, act uh, negatively. As we said, uh, the confessor's presence cannot be uh, substituted. I, so there are many advantages to the idea, but this major, I think, disadvantage. Should we give it a thought? Uh, uh, thank you for this uh, question. I uh, personally think that we cannot reject something on mass um, uh, and all together. If we take absolute uh, decisions, uh, they may be the wrong decisions. As uh, St. John Chrysostom uh, wrote, uh, evil is... Uh, there is only one uh, evil, uh, disobeying uh, the will of God. Uh, all the rest is neutral. It depends on how we use them. If um, communication on the internet, on Skype, uh, um, can never be uh, taken to replace, to substitute the face-to-face -face communication. Uh, we know this, but um, we want to set up to create an effective mode of communication. Um, the internet and uh, such mode of uh, communications is not bad in this case. What is neutral in this case becomes positive. So our speakers were very disciplined today and the timing was perfect, so I think we have time for a couple more questions, right? Okay. Do we have questions? 
We have time, but we don't have. Oh, we, we do have. Thank you. The La Sudas Lavrendius is the name. I um, am a teacher of uh, peda pedagogy. Um, his um, eminence, um, I don't know exactly uh, his uh, uh, degree, but he is right. Uh, the socialization of the person is uh, the purpose of uh, education. That is what uh, education does, prepares man for his uh, uh, entrance into social life. However, these days, there are terms, there are factors that we cannot uh, put uh, into question. We cannot say that we shall not use any social media. Uh, we cannot uh, substitute anything uh, that we have uh, by the social media. Yesterday I heard something very, very interesting uh, by one of the speakers. Uh, Paul went to Arios Pagos and found them. Um, Basil uh, Great uh, went down to all the um, places, the um, um, dark and dingy places to look for them. This is why I'm saying that we need the education. It is a sine qua non condition for everything we do. Um, if there are objections uh, in the name of risks or dangers, uh, these objections uh, cannot uh, lift the need for the use of these media under, of course, uh, certain terms and prerequisites. And this is what we need to look into. What are the conditions? What are the terms? What are the prerequisites that we need to follow and to abide by in order for us to use use this media in a productive and safe manner. We heard his eminence from Pittsburgh yesterday. He, he uh, uh, taught Protestant uh, homi homi uh, homily um, the theological schools of theology need uh, not to use uh, not, not uh, the, the, the the social media per se, but the use of them as a means uh, on the path to perfection. Rather than a question, but would you like to comment? Well, our time is up. Thank you so much.